Hey, welcome back guys, General Tunny here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and I'm so damn excited to bring you this video because we're going to be doing something very different inside of this episode. We're basically going to see how much Dark Elixir we can farm in under 10 minutes, but there are going to be some rules and the rules are very simple. So we are only allowed to use archers, barbarians and wall breakers. We can use as many and whatever spells we like and we are of course allowed to bring the three heroes. But as I said, the only troops we're allowed are barbarians, archers and wall breakers. Now we're not allowed to gem a single troop inside of the 10 minutes but we can boost the barracks, we can boost the spell factories and we can also boost the heroes. So remember guys this challenge is 10 minutes and 10 minutes only using barbarians, archers and wall breakers. And what I want every single one of you guys to do Go down below in that comment section and take a random guess. How much Dark Elixir are we going to farm in under 10 minutes? Now, I guarantee, I literally guarantee not one person is going to get the right answer. But whoever gets closest will win themselves a shout out. Please, guys, do not cheat. Just literally go down below in that comment section and take a random guess. How much Dark Elixir can I farm in 10 minutes using Barbarians, Archers and Wall Breakers? I'm going to take a guess. I reckon we can farm... I'm going to be a little bit optimistic, guys. I reckon we can farm 6,238. 6,238 Dark Elixir in 10 minutes. So go down below in that comment section. Take your random guess. One quick announcement, guys. We are giving away $250, of course. $250 worth of gems, iTunes, Android, and PayPal for the 600,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, we're not approaching 600,000 subscribers that fast, guys. And obviously, we're going to have to wait to hit 600k before we do give it away. But if you want the chance to win, all you have to do is leave a like right now on this episode. Let's go for uh, 6,238 likes, guys. Leave a like on this episode to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. There is a link in the description box down below. Hit that link, hit enter, and it's as simple as that. So we are ready to go, guys. We've got the Barbarians ready. we got the Archers ready. We are just going to fill up the rest of our barracks. Remember what I said? We're not allowed to gem a single troop, but we are allowed to boost our barracks. So we're going to build some more Wall Breakers there. Then fill it up with a couple more Archers and a couple more Wall Breakers there. And then fill it up with some more Barbarians. So hopefully this is going to go well. We are about to start the stopwatch, guys. So let me just get the stopwatch up on screen. There we go. Just going to reset it. And we just hit the start button just now. So here we go. 10 minutes has gone underway. Now let's get ourselves into a live attack. So if you haven't yet, go down below in that comment section and take a guess. How much Dark Elixir can we farm in 10 minutes now? This is going to be the trick, guys. The first attack, this one which we're doing right now, is probably going to be the only attack in the episode where we have all three heroes and all of the spells. So we really have to make this attack count. I'm going to have to see if I can find a Dark Elixir raid with maybe between two and 4,000 Dark Elixir. But it's got to be realistic. It can't be in the middle of the base. Because if there's multi-target Inferno Towers, Big Bombs, Wizard Towers, my poor army's just going to get destroyed. So we haven't seen a single good base yet, guys. Not a single decent base. Wow, where's the loot at? Where is the loot at? Here we go, guys. 251 Dark Elixir. Not looking too great. Now, I forgot to mention, we are also going to include the loot bonus. So if you want to go down below and change your answer, then feel free to do that, guys. That, that Dark Elixir is way too deep in the center there. That one's way too deep. Where is the Dark Elixir? Why is it so deep in the base, guys? Now, obviously, I do want to get the victory, but I'm, uh, I'm guessing we're going to get kind of wrecked. I don't think we're going to get many victories, guys. Unless we can get lucky and pull off a 50% one star, then I'll be very surprised. But I'm expecting to lose a lot of trophies in this episode. All right, guys. So here we go. We've just landed on the first base. And you know what? We're going to go for this. 1700 Dark Elixir. There's a chance we could get a one star on this base as well. So we're going to drop down the Earthquake spells. And we're actually going to see if we can pick off any buildings to start with using some archers. We are going to get two more there, though. So not bad. Not bad. Picking off a couple of buildings. We got that. No, not quite, guys. Not quite. We're going to get that research center there. Can we get the barracks as well, though? Nope. The barracks are protected by the cannons. But here we go. Here we go. So we got 11 wall breakers. Let's just break in there. Let's break in there as well. Let's just drop. Oh, no. What is going on? We just wasted our wall breakers and we didn't even get into the base. Damn. All right, guys. So this is where I'm going to be in serious trouble here now. So we're going to have to drop down these wall breakers on a very wide spread. Why did I just do that? I'm so dumb. I'm literally so dumb. I'm the dumbest person that I've ever met today. So we're going to drop down some of these archers. Going with some more wall breakers. We're going to have to use a rage spell straight away, guys. 
just to see if we can get into that wall. So the Kings get taken out. Gonna have to use the King's ability. Hopefully he can break into the wall. King, what are you doing, King? We need you to get into the base, guys. We need this Dark Elixir. So the Barbarians are going for it. We're gonna have to protect this Horde of Barbarians going into the center there. Gonna drop down the Rage Spell. Gonna drop the Free Spell on that multi-target Inferno. Sorry, not on the multi-target Inferno Tower. We dropped the Free Spell onto the, uh, the Eagle Artillery there. The Archers are flooding into the base and they've hit that. They've hit it, guys. They've hit the Dark Elixir Storage. Can we get the Town Hall as well? Yes, we can. We're gonna pop the King's ability. Sorry, pop the Grand Warden's ability. The Town Hall's going down. We've got a one star and we've got the Dark Elixir in the bag. So a great start to this episode, guys. Definitely a great start. Can we get a two star? It will get a much better loot bonus if we can get a two star. So far, we have got the, uh, the Grand Warden still alive, but he's just gone down. There he goes, guys. The raid is going to end. And so far, we got 1,500 plus 1,200, we'll say. We got 2,700 Dark Elixir. So we're currently on 2,700 Dark Elixir. Now we have some spells getting built. We're going to have to wait for that Earthquake spell there. The free spell's almost ready, guys. We got the army on about 150 troops so far. So we're going to wait maybe 30 seconds. And then we are going to go in for our second live attack. Now, all of this time is going to come off of the actual uh, the 10 minutes, guys. We're not going to cheat. We're not going to cheat at all. So we're going to build some more wall breakers there. And we're going to build some more barbarians. So let me just check, guys. We are currently 4 minutes and 7 seconds into this challenge. So we're only halfway through. Not even halfway through. And so far, we're on 2,700 Dark Elixir. So this is your final chance to go down below in that comment section and change your mind. Do you think we will get more Dark Elixir than you originally guessed? Or do you think we will get less? All right, guys. So we haven't got a single hero coming with us this raid. So it's going to be all down to the Barbarians, the Archers, the Wall Breakers. And, of course, the spell. So, we're just waiting for that free spell, guys. And then we are going to go in for this live attack. The free spell is going to be done in 1 minute and 40 seconds in real time. That I think that's 4 times speed. So, it should be done in about 20 seconds. So, in 20 seconds time, we will be back. And, of course, we're going to find ourselves another live attack. This time, though, no heroes. So, we're just going to build up these barbarians a little bit more, guys. Going to build up the archers a little bit more. We're going to build some more archers. Uh, actually, let's go with some wall breakers there, guys. Some more wall breakers there as well. And then finish it off with some more barbarians. And finish it off with some more archers. So, that is the army. We currently have 206. We're ready to go, guys. The free spell should be made. Yes, it is. 210 troops. And, of course, 11 spells, but no heroes. Let's see if we can find an easier base with some dark elixir inside. Now, we do not need to get the victory... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, guys, we got the free spell. We have got the earthquake spells. This could be a very decent base, guys. If we can drop the free spells on the wizard towers and that inferno tower, then we could possibly get ourselves some of that dark elixir. So let's just drop all of the wall breakers there. There's only going to be one funnel into this base, and there it is right there, guys. So here we go. We're not expecting the victory. We are only looking to get this dark elixir. Not expecting a victory here, guys. So there go all of the, the barbarians. There go loads of the, uh, no, my barbarians died. They just got wrecked by a big bomb, guys. We still have hope, though. We still have hope. Here we go. We're going to drop down the free spell on the wizard towers. And, of course, we can possibly take this dark elixir. Yes, we got it. Wow, it worked, guys. Come on, archers. Come on, archers. No, what is going on? Come on. A couple of shots. A couple of shots, please. Okay, guys, so it's all down to these barbarians. Barbarians can do it. You know what? We're going to waste a rage spell here, guys. Barbarians, you can do it. I believe in you, my boys. I believe in you. Yes, we got a couple of hundred Dark Elixir, guys. Not bad. Not bad. How much did we get? Let's just drop down that word. last wall breaker. Let's end it there. We got 500, 600 Dark Elixir. That's going to take us to 3,300 Dark Elixir so far. So inside of the next raid, we could possibly be bringing the Queen and the uh, the King, maybe. We have currently got 66 troops, so we're going to have to wait a couple of minutes, guys. Maybe going to have to wait a minute. This could actually be our final raid, guys. Going to have to wait one minute to build some more troops. So we're going to uh, build some more archers, some more barbarians inside of there, some more archers at the end of that queue there, and some more barbarians at the end of that queue there. Now, I'm not sure. Oh, we didn't build any spells. Damn, we didn't build any spells, so we're going to have to build some spells now, guys. Two rage spells and a free spell. Hopefully, they can be get done really quickly. So, it is literally just a waiting game now. We are 7 minutes and 30 seconds into the challenge, so it looks like this is going to be our final raid. Now, we are currently sitting at 3,300 Dark Elixir. So, if we can get maybe... What are we looking for? If we could get possibly 
another 2,000 inside of this Nyx Wraith. And it's going to take us to about 5,500 Dark Elixir, which isn't bad. For 10 minutes work, it really isn't that bad. Bear in mind, guys, we are using one of the cheapest armies you can possibly use inside of the game. So we've got 110 troops so far. We need at least 200. So we'll be back in about 30 seconds, maybe 50 seconds time. Once we've got some more troops and maybe the heroes are ready. So whilst we're waiting, we may as well go and see if we can find any free Dark Elixir maybe spaced out in some of the uh, the Elixir Collectors, some of the drills around the outside of the base. Sorry, the Dark Elixir drills around the outside. So obviously, we've only got 60 Barbarians and 50 Archers left with us currently. But you know what? We may as well not waste time. Let's just see if we can find any bases. So obviously, we can't attack those bases with a Dark Elixir in the center. For anyone wondering, we are currently 8 minutes and 48 seconds into the challenge. So we literally have to do our next attack within the next minute and 10 seconds. Otherwise, it is game over. Time will run out and we will not be able to complete our challenge. So we're going to have to go back to base very shortly to collect our heroes and hopefully a couple of spells at least. I'm hoping that we've at least got a rage spell ready to come. Do you know what, guys? We're just going to end this battle here because we don't want to waste time. We want to make sure... There we go. We've got the heroes. We've got the king and the queen. The Grand Warden is going to be done in 20 seconds. We have 161 troops. We also have an earthquake spell, but no rage spell. The rage spell is going to be done in just under two minutes. We don't have time, guys. We're on nine minutes and 31 seconds. We can wait 20 more seconds, and then we have to go in for this live attack, and the 10-minute time barrier is going to end so we're on nine minutes and 39 seconds we can only wait 10 more seconds can that rage spell get done yes it can we can bring a rage spell guys we're on nine minutes and 47 seconds the rage spell and an earthquake spell are ready to go so here we go have we got the grand warden yes we have the final attack guys we're going to stop the stopwatch there it's at nine minutes and 57 seconds and we've just stopped it guys so this is the final attack whatever we get inside of this raid is going to be our final amount of dark elixir inside of 10 minutes but bear in mind, we only have two Earthquake spells and a single Rage spell. So not looking too good, not looking too good, guys. Don't really like the look of many of these bases. So are we going to be able to get a decent one here? Nope, not looking too good there either. Wow, where's the... Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Perfect. Here we go. Perfect. So we're going to drop down these two Earthquake spells. Now, I know that the, uh, the, lot, the actual chance of getting the victory here is so slim. But we could possibly... Get ourselves that Dark Elixir, guys. So there goes the Wall Breakers into the base now. Gonna drop down the Queen, the Grand Warden, and the King. And drop in the rest of those Barbarians. So here we go, guys. Gonna see if we can flood into the base now using this Barbarian Archer Army. We've still got those Wall Breakers left, and we are gonna be using them very, very shortly. There we go. Wall Breakers just dropped in. Gonna use the, uh, the Rage Spell. Gonna use the Grand Warden's ability now, guys. And we're gonna put the King's ability as well. Hopefully, we can get this army moving into the center of the base. They're taking out the defensive clan castle as we speak. And they also broke down those walls. Can the queen take out that Inferno Tower? She's gone for the Dark Elixir. Perfect. The Dark Elixir is going down, guys. Gonna be taking out the enemy king as well. And our king is still up and alive. So, yeah, great raid. Gonna take out that single target Inferno Tower. And the queen hopefully can take out the town hall. So the town hall hasn't been targeted yet. She's gone for the clan castle instead, but we still have her ability to use, guys. So we could do this. We could do this. There we go. Queen's ability has been popped. She has taken the town hall down to about, what is that, 50, 40, 30% so far. The Grand Warden's also working on it, but it doesn't look like it's going to go down. Is the Grand Warden going to clutch it? Yes, he is. Wow, I love you. I love you, Grand Warden. I love you, guys. There it is. We're going to end it there. What did we get? Another 2,500 plus 800 plus 900. So that's going to take us to... 3,300 plus 3,300, meaning in 10 minutes we have farmed 6,600 Dark Elixir. So this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Who got the correct answer? I will see you very shortly in a few hours' time. We have literally just filmed a Pokemon Go episode, so make sure you stay tuned for that. That is going to be the first of its kind on the channel. I will see you shortly. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Peace out.